today I have like a little artsy vlog uh, where I will take you with me uh, while I'm making art and I will show you some pieces that I made um, the last year years and yes I hope you enjoy watching I love to sketch people that I see on the internet and I will link her down below she's such a beautiful person from the inside and the outside and I love to get inspired by just watching videos or like seeing pictures people post on the internet and when I think oh my god I have to draw her then I will draw her and yes <laughs> You can tell that my favorite color is green ah, and the sun is so beautiful nice <laughs> because I'm wearing like green earrings a green hat like a green turtleneck and this beautiful green blouse I think you can you pronounce it like blouse oh blouse <laughs> I don't know <laughs> and I actually um, like trip flipped it yesterday with my boyfriend first thing I'm gonna do today is um, I will make photos of my rings because I actually made like crystal rings uh, yesterday night <laughs> I was very inspired and motivated to do them so yes they're very very beautiful I will show you and now I will make um, photos of them and put them on my vintage I will link my vintage down below but I'm only selling in Germany so yes I'm sorry <laughs> I just want to show you some of my little artworks in my sketchbook. I practice like everything, sketching, um, landscapes or people. I love to work with watercolors or even collage working. I write down some poems. I love to draw people that I see on the internet. Like when I'm watching videos, I just make a screenshot and draw them. And yeah, just some watercolor studies. I work with real lavender and glue it down. Some nature studies. Some different poses. <laughs> and working with different kind of pencils. Here I just tried out some lino cut and I made some boobies. <laughs> um, yeah, I love to work with fine liners and trying out different faces, how to draw them. I also like to sketch out the things that I want to create with clay, like this one. And here I tried out some shadowing on faces and like an um, art journal. Crafting. Oh, 
this one is my big sketchbook. I just got it like a few weeks ago and I practiced their like faces and shadowing on faces, some fine liner sketches. This one is not completed yet <laughs> and I like to um, like sketch out the things that I want to create with clay and make a little mind map. Here I am just making a spiritual journal where I put all of my spiritual ideas and the things I know, the things I learn about and stuff um, in there. Like when I learn more about tarot cards, I write it down there. Or like about the moon phases and how to make moon water, I like to have one place where I can write down everything about my spiritual journey. In my little spiritual journal I started with the different moon phases and when you can set intentions and how to make moon water, the benefits of moon water and how to use moon water. Um, on the next page there is my full moon ritual. I just wrote it down. And here are some crystals and their energies and their healing powers and how to make crystal water. And here I wrote something down about the chakras and which crystals for each chakra and how to get harmony into the chakras, what you can do and yeah. Here I made like a tarot spread uh, with different types of tarot systems, how I laid down my tarots and the different colors of the candles, um, their meaning and their energies and something about herbs, but I didn't find much about herbs, so I hope I can complete the spread. On the next page I wrote down some sigils and I found a system how to make sigils um, on Pinterest, but I'm very new into it, so yes, this was the first sigil I ever made and it was very fun. Now I want to show you some of my artworks. Um, this is a study about the kiss from Klimt and I just made some sketches and this was my artwork for it. And to end my artworks I made a little sculpture. These are some pictures of a sculpture I made about pregnancy and it's a very warm and cozy a pregnancy and this one is pregnancy too but it's very hard and not cozy at all. It's very terrifying I think. And these were some studies about emotions and each of them like represents one emotion and it's just water and black color. I cut into like a little plate of plastic and then painted it with black color and this was the came out of it. It was like linole cuts but in this plate. And here are some studies about a beer. It's actually a little story about a beer coming to you and that's just fine liner. And here I tried out um, a linole cut and this was the came out. Um, yes, I was pretty new to lino cuttings, um, but it was so much fun. Here I made a bo booklet about black and white studies with fine liner, pencils, a black acrylic paint. This one is a big project and it's called The Devil's Heaven of a Woman. So here is the woman as a child, 
she's very dreamy with like flowers and butterflies and that's her life way um, it's very colorful at the beginning but like determined by the society and the ideals of the society and there are many men looking at her and her wake is getting like black and white and grayer and grayer the more she goes like her way and on the last page she, she is an old woman and um, it's all black and white um, but she holds like a picture of herself when she was a child and there are some colorful flowers around it so that's the only thing that's left from like herself and over the, the years she collected like mouths and eyes and stuff to fit in society and yes and here are some like little pictures I made and um, this one was very funny you can like turn it and a collage and an abstract painting with watercolor I also love yes doing many collage this one is also a collage this one is a picture I find on Pinterest and here are some watercolor studies um, this one is a collage too with acrylic paint and this one was like um, I sewed through the paper I think it came out pretty nice and here are some collage works. I love doing collage because you can be very creative with it. Thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this little or this maybe big vlog and if you have any other video ideas or wishes um, let me know in the comments and i hope we will see you next time Mwah. <laughs>